And again, we're not going to be able to make that gap, so we just drop down onto that bit. And loud noises. Loud noises. Why is there a man there? How's it going guys? John here from the Killabits and today we are venturing out into the darkness in Scanner Somber from Introversion. Now, Introversion, you may know them better from games like Darwinia and probably more notably from Prison Architect, but this is something a bit different from them. This feels like it's a, I'd say almost experimental project for them, but it's quite a short game. They say their influences on this one have been stuff like Dear Esther and Gone Home. So yes, it is a walking simulator, but essentially it's an exploration game of... Well, we're, we're spelunking, we're, we're exploring some caves, but we're using LiDAR, which, as you can see from this kind of just menu screen, creates this kind of very eerie, but very beautiful, kind of weird colour texture type thing. I'm going to start a new game. I've played about half an hour, 45 minutes of it. As I say, it's a very, very short game as far as I can tell. At best, maybe a couple of hours. But we play this... I don't know whether we've even got a name. Um, Explorer. Spelunker. Cave Explorer. And obviously, that must be our family there. But yes, we're in a tent. But once we venture out, it's completely dark. So we're going to need a tool to get us through this. And thankfully, we've got a VR headset, evidently. No, no, this is our LiDAR detector and headset. So, with our magic gun, essentially, press left mouse button and we fire our scanning beam. And it just paints the walls with this light, essentially. Obviously, we're kind of bouncing light beams off all the walls and we can actually build the terrain in front of us and let's go exploring a cave then. So as I say it's quite a short game and um, very very light on stories and puzzles and things like that. Um, there is a bit of story in here. Uh, no no narration or dialogue that way it's all... no we're not supposed to be going that way. Yeah it's very easy to get lost. Uh, no, we're, we're stuck amongst stalactites. Stalactites? Stalagmites? I, I, I always get mixed up between the two. There we go, there's our path. Now, obviously, I've no idea how well it shows up on YouTube because, as I say always, YouTube compresses the shit out of videos, so... But the idea is we're venturing out into these caves. Nobody had been as deep as this for thousands of years. So, unlike Dear Esther, where we got the narration of the storyteller, I was utterly alone. No call for help would ever reach... Oh, I missed that. So, we've not got, like, the... Uh, my friends all told me I was crazy. My wife couldn't understand my obsession. Uh, so, I'll eventually get to say this. Yeah, no kind of narration, like... <laughs> it's, it's doing this on purpose, but I had to know if the myths were true. Right, are you going to pop up any more dialogue? No? Can I actually say my piece now? Right, okay, so... Unlike Dear Esther, there's no kind of narration or anything like that. Unlike Gone Home, we don't get to pick up objects and explore the story that way. It's all done in... I can't remember which way we're supposed to go... Is it this way? This looks like the way, yep. It... We just kind of, you know, follow the, the path as far as we can make it out. And occasionally we'll come across objects like these. Obviously they're pointing to say, look, there's a big bridge up there. So there's a very, there's some very, very light platforming elements. So as you can see, we've got to work our way up towards the bridge. Which is this direction. And there's beeping going on. So occasionally we can upgrade our scanner, prototype installed, aperture control. So obviously that's medium beam, we can go really wide or we can go really tight. 
and you just use it like a spray can essentially. Could this place be even older than the legends suggest? So where I say there's some kind of light platforming, it's when there's gaps in the bridges like this. But that that's about the extent of the platforming in the game. You can fall to your death, which is reasonably amusing if you can try and paint something on the wall as you, you fall down. And yes. Hello? Can we be friends? No, it's obviously we're exploring like underground caves, but there's evidently a temple here. You can tell by these pillars, which are obviously pillars, and this is a statue. So he seems to be following us. He's following me. So yeah, um, there is like a, a very light horror mystery element to it, but it's it's not a horror game. It's it's not a you know puzzle game or anything like that. It's it is just a you know first person exploration game. And where are we going this way? Yeah, this way. Sound design's not bad. Obviously, we've got the the echoes and the kind of the, the, the foley work of, you know, the footfalls and all that. It's it's what you'd expect. And it's probably best to play, you know, in a reasonably dark room with a good set of headphones and that. And as you can see here, this looks a little odd. Yes, we can zoom. That's because there's a, evidently a bridge here. And if we use our Titan our beam, we can obviously see that there's lots of bridges. And this is where it's, it gets into kind of a uh, reasonable kind of element of not so much the platforming or anything like that. It's just picking the right route. But it's, it's fairly directed, obviously. We're not going to be able to jump that gap, so we have to go down here, essentially. And jump the gap. And... We're not going to be able to... Well, that's the one we came up. Obviously, we can't go this one because that, that path is cut off. So... There, there's... It's very, very linear in the fact that, you know, the, the paths are obvious. We there's certain areas and we've got you can just about make out there's steps here uh, so where was it we needed to go um, it's around here somewhere isn't it uh, so like I said I, I played half an hour 45 minutes there we go there's the rest of the steps yeah so we, I knew we had to go up slightly and we basically rejoin with a different rope bridge. Now you look at that, you think, well, maybe we can make that jump. But there's no run button. Yeah, we're, we're destined to uh, fall onto this section. So it is very, very linear. It's just trying to find where where it's obviously trying to send you and again we're not going to be able to make that gap so we just drop down onto that bit and loud noises loud noises why is there a man there so this is where it's throwing in the kind of mystery and i'm having to shout over the sound of it i know it will pop up with some dialogue in a minute i know that much complaining about the atmospherics and weird shit happening. There we go. Find our path. There we go. They never did iron out all the glitches. And sometimes you'd see sensor echoes from days earlier. Calibrations turn to ghosts. So there's ghosts in the machine. No, it's... Uh, even so, I... Never could explain everything I saw. I think that's pretty much all his dialogue for now. 
we're just carrying on following this path. And over here, is it? I can't remember. Yes. So th there is an element of, you know, you are stumbling around in the dark, essentially. And yes, as you'd imagine, uh, we're not going to be able to jump this gap. We could do. And if you want, as I say, we, we'll, we'll see if we can paint on the wall as we go. But you die like that. But it's a fairly quick restart and we'll spread out the beam so we can actually see where we're going. So obviously we're supposed to go over to that. And as you'd imagine, we're not going to be able to jump anything. So we have to kind of Indiana Jones us way along a very, very narrow path. There is a, a degree of, you know, we're obviously just floating at this point because all we are is an arm with a gun and uh, we're probably just a, you know, typical kind of unity pill type thing. And it's, somebody's falling. It's obviously not an echo from a few days ago. But yes, um, I'm not actually sure what it, this is actually done in it. I've got a feeling it's Unity. Um, uh, and as you can see, I, I do know my w way through this bit, so this is where I got to. Dead bodies. So as I say, the the mystery is fairly light and we're just like clipping through the wall. <laughs> but we should get up to the beeping machine in a second. There we go. There it is. And now we can do a burst scan. So hitting B will reveal more of the cavern. But it just does these really weird lines where it crosses. So we've got like this cross section here. Anywho. And uh, as you can see in the bottom left it, it slowly recharges up the that whole burst one so that's obviously a long way down but it's the only way we can go so as it goes it's it, from what i played as i said i've played 30 40 minutes worth it's reasonably engaging you know that whole thing of you know where am I going next? The story is not that much of a hook. The just the the fact that it's something a little different, a little bit more experimental, a lot different from uh, <laughs> Prison Architect, certainly. Um, but it's as I say, this it's nice to play games that are slightly different. Where where they say the influences are gone home and um dear esther you can see that in it the fact that it's the you know quote unquote walking sim um but i'd, I'd say there's it, it brings its own style to the the mix the fact that it's it's very light on the story it's it's more about you know trying to navigate your way around using this kind of unique style uh, I knew there was a jump at some point. There we go. Uh, as I said, it, it feels like they've done this as, you know, t more to entertain themselves. I, I wouldn't be surprised. This is, it is you know, an experiment that they're, they're, they're put into practice to for uh, an, another project, maybe something slightly larger, more in-depth that they're looking to do in the future. Uh, but as I said, that's that is just purely speculation. To me, this feels like just for the length of it, and the, the, even though this is there's probably quite a bit of kind of complex, um, you know, coding going on to do all this. I'd say it's still a relatively simple game. You know, you build a train that you, there's a very obvious path through because. It's a walking sim. Yeah, you're not going to get be able to go off the path or anything. There's obvious, you know, sections that are gated because because they put a wall in the way, or that there's a ravine that you cannot cross. Um, so 
mechanically it's very simple it's just basically run around with just your finger pressed on the uh, left mouse button um, broken pillars no we're not going down there it's along here yes it's up here so it's an interesting one definitely not going to be for everyone um, it's relatively relaxing the temple must be have been uh, uh, over a thousand years old. There's trees growing down here. Certainly look kind of tree-like. I knew they existed. I'd searched for the cultists all my life. So obviously this is where it's starting to bring in the story. We're searching for a cultist temple, but to finally see it in person, to be the first. So. Obviously, we're entering the temple. I mean, we can use our burst to see if we can paint more of the temple. And we can obviously see bigger pillars up there. Uh, I'm sh pretty sure it's in this direction we're supposed to go. Yeah, there we go. Big gateway sort of thing going on. And hail Beelzebub! The, the, the god of the underground? Possibly. He's got some funky horns going on. So yes, we've entered the, the temple and the... Uh, prepare to be sacrificed. Up some imposing stair staircase. So, my opinion, uh, as walking simulators go, it's... It does offer something different, this kind of unique style of exploration, having to use this tool to actually find your way. Uh, we'll splash our way through. This was where they performed the sacrifices. Well, let's use our burst to reveal the altar. The more I scanned around the altar, the more I it revealed. So... Obviously, we've got to scan more around the altar, but it's it's basically just some a bunch of tables and benches and weird hanging bows and arrows. It looks like so. It's it's certainly different. It's it it's it hooks you enough just to see how far you can. Well, it's not even a challenge of how far you can go. It's you know, it's. We need to walk up this bit. Um, just intriguing to see how it handles, you know, the navigation using this tool. Already freaks out again. The cultists have just pushed somebody off the side there. And we happen to have another tool here. We can map now. So there we go. This is where we've come from, where we began. So I presume we started in the chasm and we've obviously worked our way up. We can zoom out a little. Oh no. 483 meters away. Aperture. Yeah, so th we're... Well, according to the menu screen, it does have a um, an option of, you know, levels. And I think the temple is like classed as the third level. So this is probably about a third third of the way through the game and what we're about 20 minutes in so that that makes sense you could probably do the entire game in you know hour and a half to two hours i always wondered how many poor bastards they threw over the edge i don't know is there a big pile of bodies down there let's burst nope Anyway, right, let's truck on a little more, but so I was saying, yeah, it's it's not a bad game. Um as I say, not certainly not for everyone. Um Oh there we go, staircase up. So even even though I kind of know where I'm going, it's still very easy to get lost because until till you push your button, I mean we can just wander along and we're pretty much into the dark. You can kind of tell you're supposed to go in this direction. 
So it, it's got a hook enough to actually... Uh, the cultists believe the cave itself was malevolent, that the dead could never escape. And I think we're into the prison cells bit now, aren't we? Or is it the sleeping out there? Victims were doomed to relive their final tortured hours forever. <laughs> uh, where's the way out of this place? Uh, no wonder people went mad down here. Well, it could have been something to do with the fact that there's n you can't see where you're going unless you've got a, a magic LiDAR gun. Not, let's face it, there's not a lot of sources of light down here, is there? Saying that, it'd be intriguing to see if there, there's a way of, of, you know, playing the game with a torch. But then again, they, that means they'd have to actually textures on all the, the surfaces and that. Um, uh, nope, we're not going this way. Where's the, where's the way out? There we go, this way. So, relatively short game. Relatively limited in, you know, what you have to actually do in that. Uh, but it does have the benefit of being relatively cheap as well, I think. Because uh, the game is actually out. It came out a week and a half ago. So we're up above the the altar yeah um came out yeah about a week and a half ago i think it's uh, like nine pounds uk so i'm i'm guessing it's probably what 11 12 dollars or your regional equivalent so it's 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 certainly not going to break the bank and if you like playing slightly weird games you know the equivalent of going to the pictures you know two hours of your life do something different. The cultist slept and ate here. So this is the bedroom. We can just about make out the beds. Uh, like the monks who came after they spent their time in silent prayer to an unanswering god. No wonder they go mad. No, that's not the way. Is it up here? Yes, it's up here. No, no, it's not there. Right, where the hell am I supposed to go? Here we go. So we're, we'll try and find another freak out moment where we're seeing echoes of the past. Uh, and we'll, we'll wrap it up around about there. There's a huge tree or something. Either that's a really big insect that's just standing there. Uh, right, where the hell are we going? I think we may need to burst. Where do we need to go next? That's a big table. That really didn't help, did it? Well, hang a second, that looks like a way up. Yep. So, I mean, that's a pretty good guide. We don't seem to be going down hell of a lot. It seems to be going up is the way. And um, we've got into the save point, so I presume I'll have another bit of text dialogue sometime soon. Oh, we've got another. Oh! Beelzebub statue. I'd, I'm saying Beelzebub. It could be any other pagan god you might want. I don't know. Let's go down here. So, in my opinion, if you like weird and wacky stuff, you know, might be worth checking out. If if you're not into walking sims, if you don't want to, you know, spend 12 bucks on a, a game that only lasts a couple of hours with... I presume very little replay value because once you've explored all this sounds quite wet in here I'm gonna burst I presume we just drop down in a second yeah 
It looks like we've actually got water. Yeah, because the, the beams are getting reflected for a moment and then drifting away. So we've certainly got water down here. You can tell by the raindrops. So let's just go across this path if we can. As I say, there's bound to be another Echoes of the Past moment anytime soon. Let's do another burst, see if there's anything worth noting. There's no new add-ons for our magic gun. No. I presume we're not allowed in the water, we'll probably sink to our death. This looks like a tunnel. Yeah. And we've got another save point, so something's going to happen. It's freaking out. Is it just telling us we're not supposed to be in the water? Possibly. Possibly. I don't know. Let's... I don't know. Uh, let's use our burst, see if there's anything. Yeah, I think we're just not supposed to go in the water. It wasn't a particular freak out because we're seeing geckos of the past. Fair enough. So I, t I, said, I promised we'd, we'd carry on until we found another echo of the past. No, we're not allowed to go in that bit of water either. Small squeaks from the... So there's got to be a path around here somewhere we can go on. So is this where we're, we're supposed to backtrack a load and then drop down onto a path? Probably. Oh no, the path to the left hand side here. Do some light platforming. Yeah. Go underneath. Uh, go this way. No. Well, I'm kind of lost and I don't know where we're supposed to go next. Clearly not here. We'll do one last burst, but yeah, I think we're, this is probably an appropriate place to wrap it up. I mean, we can have a look at the map. We're, we're obviously in some big cave network. Um, where did we come from? We came from... I know, we're clearly supposed to go into that put big room with the puddle. Because, stuff it, we're going to go in that direction. So, where's our big main path? Let's head along. I think we're just supposed to deal with the fact that the uh, radar, li lidar gun doesn't like being getting wet. Here's a bit of advice, fella. Why don't you just hold your hands above your head? You don't have to worry about it. Let's face it, the mask is on top of your head. If your head goes underwater, then you're in trouble anyway, but... So... We did one burst in here, didn't we? We'll do another burst before we get into the water. We... We'll try and narrow our beam. Uh, try and see... I think... Yeah, we just need to make it across. Okay. There we go. And we're on to the other side. Can we dry it off yet? There we go. Right. And we're, we're safely through. We've got a save point. And that's obviously something we're supposed to jump on. I hear more water, but obviously that's leaving an image. 
No, that's more water. Let's use our burst. Well, yeah, I've no idea where this goes now. It's just a cage in the middle of the the pool. Is that a way out? No idea. Let me hit the map one last time. Lake entrance. So we've got to go that direction somewhere. Oh, well, well, yeah, this has been scanner somber if you like what you see obviously um i will leave a link in the description below so you can find out more information about the game and uh, satisfy yourself and if you like the video um hit that like button it does help us out the witch trials came much later uh so so that's what the the cage was we're obviously dunking witches in this place they used to drag witches down here and purge them in huge numbers Okay, that little bit did freak me out. Okay, right, don't go into the water whilst, whilst the camera's freaking out. Fair enough. Alright, until next time guys. Bye!